We call this feature To the Rescue. And since January is Organizing Month, professional organizer Chris Stone of Neatly Designed is with us right now. Glad and to you're be back. Thank you for coming to the rescue. Now, last time around, you rescued Brittany and her disorganized toy room. This time around, it's really interesting. We're going to show you a couple of pictures right now and tell us what we're looking at from Jennifer's submission. In Jennifer's submission, she had just closed her, her bakery, so she had way more than she needed in a home to continue her baking. So I looked at it and saw a purge immediately. Okay. Because there's just no way she could reorganize with all of that. So the first thing I would do is have her purge, but she already owned a baker's rack, which is one thing I would have suggested anyway, because that's where the containers come in to start containing everything. Okay, now, and, and we're going to look at pictures in a little while of, of some of the ones that you've done, but this, you don't have to have owned a bakery to have a crazy amount of baking supplies. My daughter bakes. Yes. And we've got stuff coming, we just, we bought cookie cutters because we couldn't find the Christmas cookie cutters. So take us down the row if you would, Chris. Okay, so if you are, whether you're a seasoned baker, you like to dabble in it, or it's a major hobby, the most important thing would be to get clear containers and label them. These are great. They're from Home Depot. They're under $2 because they stack. So you can stack them on shelving and they're labeled. You've even labeled yes. the holidays every yes. cookie cutter. Different, different holidays, that way you're not rummaging around trying to find or them. Or rebuying them, which stinks. The, right. <laughs> and then these are great containers as well because you can contain all your baking items, pull them out on the counter, use what you need, and put them back. Oh, so these are kind of standard things. So you you literally just take the whole, yes. whole thing out instead of trying to pull one right. thing out at a time. Right. And, and it's all just baking. And you're more likely to put it back where you got it. if it's Exactly. Simple. Okay. And then these are great because they look good on the counter. So if you're a serious baker, you're going to want flour, sugar, the items that you use on a regular basis on the counter. Mm -hmm. And these are, meet the two criteria. They're inexpensive and they look great. Mm -hmm. And these are some of my favorites, the OXO. They're great. They're simple. You can keep all your chocolate chips. You could keep cookie cutters in these. They come in different sizes so you can use them for different items. Okay. And last but not least is another favorite of mine is to keep all your baking racks and pans so that they're not all over the place. And definitely purge the pans and, and that way you won't try to be shoving them in the cabinet and they're falling on your head when you open it. Okay. And, and you know, this is another thing and we found in our house there are just some things that are just, there's so much baked on, you know, that's just what happens. Yes. And so purging is... I think the key to all of the rooms you've you've organized. Purging, so. especially in baking items, is important because they do wear and tear and have a time, you know, a shelf life, and sometimes it's just time to let go. Okay, so please do submit your space to our Facebook page. You'll be able to find the, the spot right there where we're asking you to submit it. And if it's chosen, Chris will help you out just like she did for Jennifer yes. right here on the show. And these tips are good for everybody, not just for the person who submitted them. Exactly. So thanks for coming to the rescue. Thank you for and having me. And then in me. addition to going to our Facebook page, also go to our website so you can find Chris and Neatly Designed. Maybe you need her to come to your rescue in a bigger way, and she's able to do that as well. So go to RiverCityLiveTV.com. Just click on the As Seen on RCL tab.